When it comes to fully electric car manufacturers, you most likely think of Tesla. But here came a rather strong rival for Tesla, namely Neo Automobile. Found by William Lee in 2014, with a serious background in the FIA Formula 1 e electrical racing series, William Lee has not only created an electric vehicle, but created a ready-to-run electric supercar after just 18 months of development. The Neo EP9 develops a power of 1 megawatt from the four motors, and together with the active and aerodynamic suspension, they made the EP9 lap the Nürburgring in less than 7 minutes, thus becoming the fastest production electric car in the world. The exterior design of the car is simple, minimalist, and presents a sporty and dynamic silhouette. The interior is made entirely of carbon fiber, and the side headrests that keep the occupants' heads fixed during high-speed turns are the surprise element. There are also four screens, one for the dashboard, one on the passenger side, one on the center console, and one on the steering wheel. One aspect with which the Chinese company stood out on the electric car market was a replacement battery system, which involves changing discharged batteries with fresh ones. Thus, the autonomy of the EP9 was up to 427 kilometers. Recharging required 45 minutes, and battery replacement took 8 minutes. Regarding the engine, the EP9 was equipped with four engines, one for each wheel, which together developed 1360 horsepower. From a supercar, NEO moved on to developing premium electric family vehicles, launching in 2018 their first SUV, the ES8. In the development of ES8, the Chinese manufacturer collaborated with suppliers such as Continental for the pneumatic suspension, and Brembo for the brakes, and Matata Technologies for the propulsion group. This resulted in a very successful SUV with seven seats, a direct rival to the Tesla Model X. The exterior design of the ES8 was very well outlined by the large, trapezoidal front grille and narrow LED headlights. With a spacious interior for seven people and pampered with quality materials such as Napa leather, the ES8 was truly premium. And because electric vehicles are best reconciled with minimalism, the ES8 came with few physical buttons. The vertical center console and the dashboard screen was all you needed. Moreover, the virtual assistant, Nomi AI, interacts a lot with the driver and his passengers. The ES8 is powered by two electric motors, which together develops 544 horsepower, being able to reach 100 km an hour in just 4.4 seconds. The energy comes from a pack of replaceable batteries of 70, 84, and 100 kWh that ensures an autonomy of up to 580 km. This time, the battery can be swapped out for a fully charged one in just 3 minutes. The next model was also an SUV, the ES6, being the world's first SUV with permanent magnet and induction motors. The SUV keeps roughly the same design language as the previous model, but comes with some new elements. The novelty comes to the front fascia, which this time presents a much smaller grille. The rear comes with some changes, with more angular taillights this time. Inside we find five seats and a larger central console is installed in front as well as a larger screen for the dashboard. This time, NEO created a more affordable model and installed two or four motors and two batteries on the ES6. With dual motor all-wheel drive system with a peak power of up to 544 HP and a maximum torque of 725 Nm, the NEO ES6 accelerates from 0 to 100 km an hour in 4.7 seconds. At the same time, there is the option of renting the batteries, reducing the price of the car by 20%. The EC6 was the additional model released by NEO and it represents the coupe version of the ES6. Thus, the exterior design of the EC6 is not a new one, the new element being the sports roof. Neo also boasted that the EC6 had the largest panoramic roof in the SUV coupe segment. The interior has haptic seats and fabric stitching. It has generous spacing and the ambient lighting is 10 colors and the panoramic sunroof are a big plus. The EC6 comes with two electric motors, which together delivers 435 horsepower for the entry version, needing only 5.4 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 100 km an hour. The high-end version generates 544 horsepower, translating to a 0 to 100 km time of 4.5 seconds. The EC6 is also available with two lithium-ion battery options, 70 kWh or 100 kWh. 
The latter offers an autonomy of 615 kilometers. In 2021, NEO announced that it will also enter the European market. This coincided perfectly with the launch of NEO's first sedan, the ET7, the world's longest range electric car. The car has an aerodynamic shape, enhanced by the narrow shape of the headlights and the air intakes on the side of the bumper. The back is just as simple with the taillights placed across the width of the car. The interior also looks very good, especially the panoramic glass roof that offers more light. Of course, the instrument panel and infotainment unit are digital. It also comes with Nomi AI Personal Assistant, 256 colors of interior ambient lighting, soft closing doors and intelligent fragrance system. The NEO founder claims that the ET7 sedan can work with the new self-driving system, available at a subscription for about $105 a month. The system contains NVIDIA chips, offering twice the processing power of Tesla cars. The ET7 also comes equipped with lighter sensors to allow cars to better perceive its surroundings. The ET7 is powered by two electric motors, which together produce a power of 653 horsepower, accelerating from 0 to 100 km an hour in 3.8 seconds. The ET7 is also available with three battery options, a 7075 kWh battery with a range of 500 to 550 km, a 100 kWh battery with a range of 700 km, and a semi-solid 150 kWh ultra-high-range battery, which offers an autonomy of 1,000 km. At the end of 2021, NEO launched a new electric compact sedan, ET5. In terms of design, the ET5 has taken over most of the elements from its bigger brother ET7 but stands out for the ducktail rear spoiler. The interior is equally minimalist, with a digital instrument panel of 10.2-inch display, a generous screen for the multimedia system and the Pano Cinema system. The new NEO ET5 is equipped with two electric motors, which together develops 489 horsepower and 700 newton meters, enough to reach 100 km an hour in 4.3 seconds. At the same time, the sedan is available with three battery options. The 75 kWh battery variant offers an autonomy of 550 km. With the 100 kWh battery, the car can travel over 700 km and the 150 kWh battery increases the autonomy to over 1,000 km. NEO continues to expand its vehicle portfolio by launching a new SUV, the ES7. The new SUV combines the design features of the ET7 and ET5 with the general features of the SUV variant. It is equipped with dual LED daytime running lights, headlights mounted in the lower part of the front grille and taillights that integrate 202 LED modules. Inside, passengers will find a fully digital instrument panel, a 12.8-inch display for the multimedia system, the Pano Cinema system with a 1000-watt audio system. The NEO ES7 is equipped with two electric motors, which develop 653 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque, reaching 100 kilometers in 3.9 seconds in Sport Plus mode. Regarding batteries, customers can opt for one of the three variants: 75 kilowatt an hour, 100 kilowatt hour, or 150 kilowatt hour, which offers between 485 kilometers and 860 kilometers of autonomy. An interesting thing is that the ES7 can tow up to 2,000 kilograms and comes with a special camping mode that keeps the climate systems on so you can sleep overnight in the car. It is interesting to see how the electric vehicle market is developing so quickly. And few years ago, an electric car seemed like something from a movie. Now, this is the future. And it sounds good.